Mount Pleasant with a couple changes last time out. Shaquille Bradford comes back into the starting lineup. Their leading goal scorer, Devontae Campbell, is in the starting lineup as well. We'll add that pace and, and, and energy from the wide area. Tafara Chambers is between the sticks because there's no Shaquan Davis. Big deal for them. The elder statesman in Ladale Ritchie comes into the lineup as well. Fitzroy Cummins, Melvin Dox near the St. Lucian. Shaquille Dyer, Kimoni Bailey, Kevin Shaw. And Sule McCullough, what a season the captain is having, Sule McCullough. They're coached by Theodore Tapa Whitmore. Yeah, I'm playing their customary 4 3 3. I really like the, the three up front in, in Campbell, Bradford, and Green. Should cause some trouble. There's pace, trickery, and smart finishing locked into that front three. Arnett Gardens. They will certainly be playing with a 4 3 3 as they always do. Xavier Gilbert is their head coach. Eric Edwards is between the sticks. It's an unchanged lineup for Arnett Gardens after that 5 1 win against Humble Lion. And no surprise, Fabian Reed, their leading goal scorer, will lead the line. Rashiki Kelson had such a wonderful game last time out him and Jaheim Thomas. It will be a joy to see them yet again on the turf of the Draxall Sports Complex. Yeah, and he said 4 3 3. I, I expect him to probably morph at times into a 4 5 1 because the midfield is somewhere where they're both concerned about and on the road you expect teams that play that 4-3-3 to morph into that at times to make it difficult for the home team to penetrate full match highlights Alexi Perry in charge of this big fixture first versus fourth Arnett Gardens driving forward early Philander wing on the left hand side into the area looking for Fabian Reed but Ladale Ritchie as we spoke about all game in the right place at the right time then Shaquille Bradford setting this up for Bailey who would strike. Down low to the right hand side was Eric Edwards keeping Bailey out, at least for now. Daniel Green, look at this for a free kick. He's always so good from the dead ball. And that execution was perfect. From 20 or more yards out. The beating of Eric Edwards got some fingertips to it, Edwards, but just couldn't keep it out. 1 0 to Mount Pleasant after just nine minutes. The home team, they were in the driver's seat. Arnett Gans, as they always do, try to respond. One of the most attacking teams in the land, if not the most. This was a chance for Fabian Reed. Brilliant header. But the save was even better from Tafari Chambers. Look at that at full stretch with the right hand, tipping it around the upright. And that would be a corner. Mount Pleasant continued to go in. This should have been better from Shaquille Bradford. Ten goals on the season. He showed immense quality so far this year. But that finish needed a little bit more quality. Then Daniel Green here had a chance to shoot just about there. They decided to carry it on to the byline, down to the byline. And then he was closed out by Arnett Gardens. Peter Gould looking on, the owner would have been pleased with the first half performance. Then, Devonte Campbell, trusted wide and couldn't get the shot on target. He was off balance. Second half action now. Again, they came forward. Header from Fitzroy Cummins, blocked by Arnett Gardens. It was a bit of a ding down battle, but to be honest, Mount Pleasant had the better of the chances. This fell to Gosri. Gosri should have teed up Green a bit better. He teed up Gosri instead. Solid strike, but straight down the middle. And Eric Edwards was safe. Then another build up. Phillips to Gosri. To Bygrave. Bygrave with the strike. Phillips thinks he should have played it in. Bygrave went for the strike. Saved by Edwards. Down. And he could save that. But he couldn't save this. Left footed strike. Blocked initially, Akwasa Chong on as a substitute. Akwasa Chong. That was something to behold. From Mount Pleasant's number 22 with the right foot. Two-footed player has always been his major asset, Akwasa Chong. Great technique with both feet. And Eric Edwards had no chance in stoppage time. Mount Pleasant with the clean sheet and the 2 0 win. They are the defending champions. They are on top of the table. Mount Pleasant, five shots on target from eight attempts. They limited the most attacking team in the land to just one shot on target. 
amazing over 90 minutes. 25 fouls between the two. There are five yellow cards shown by Alexi Perry. Arnett Gans with a slight edge in terms of possession, but no doubt that Mount Pleasant were the better team today. And two moments of brilliance, the difference between these two teams. 2-0 the win. Our man of the match is with Dwight Jeremiah, none other than the captain of Mount Pleasant, Ladale Ritchie. Ladale, it, 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 it took some performance to top two wonder strike. I mean, so good was your performance. Tell me what was the plan coming into the game to keep the second highest scoring team in the land quiet the way you did? Well, um, the plan was always to keep a clean sheet. Um, once I keep my team in it, I know um, we can create chances and we will finish. You definitely focused on Reed. Yeah, me and him have a little thing from a long time. We are two veteran players, so it's always a good competition. Yeah. You've good not side. always started in this team. How difficult? Well, it didn't seem that way, but what makes it so easy for you to step in at any point and put in performances like this? Well, it's the hard work I put in in training every day, but not playing. I just only play when the team needs me, like today. I just come up. So how does it feel this type of win? They beat you 2-0 the last time you met them. How pleasing is this victory? Well, it's a good victory. I wanted to get back one at them because they beat us too. So I wanted to beat them back. Well, you might have lost some pace, but you certainly haven't lost the quality. Well done today, Ladea. Well, class is permanent. Right. <laughs> All the best going forward, my friend. All right, thank yeah. you. <laughs>